Hi, welcome back to Colts KRC. If you haven't already subscribed, please do hit that notification bell and hit that like button. Hi, welcome back to Colts KRC. So, I thought I'd do one final video on this before it flies off to its new owner. So, I've had this nearly a year now. Well, I haven't had this one, I've had two, remember. But it's been out virtually a year now. The title said, from the title of this video, you're going to get that I'm making quite a bold statement here. I think this is the biggest game changer in the last 12 months. This coming out has changed camera drones. And the reason I think that is because before this, there was nothing in, this market, in the marketplace that did this. I know people are going to leave in the comments, Femi x 8 se came out after this. It's a chunk more money. And I'll be totally honest with you, I don't think it's that much better of a, I don't think it's that much better of a drone, and it's certainly not worth the money, the extra money that this costs to that for what you get. That's a statement, it's a bold statement. I'll tell you, I'll explain that why. None of them have optical avoidance, it's got downward sensors on the other one, but the biggest point of view for me is these things are like 29 quid, not 69 that you pay for a uh, smart battery. Yeah, you could get a longer flight time on the other one, but hey. That's my statement. I don't think if you need something that flies f four kilometers, not that the fe not that the Femi X8 will do four kilometers, but it does do further than this. That's obvious. Then maybe that's what you want to do. But this coming out with the first one, it took on DJI to a certain degree because before this, the only thing you could buy that had a 4K camera cheap enough, I suppose, was the Paranafi or the DJI Mavic Air. Both of them were was £600 plus and a chunk of money. This coming out at 369 but let's not review it at that because we all know you can get it for 250 quid. I can get it for 240 this morning as I've checked. It's an absolute bargain. The Pro came out of course after this but the Pro from the review, I, did, I ordered the Pro and then cancelled it because of the fact that I, I was, when you do some research on it you realise that having four kilometres of range on the Pro isn't going to do you any good whatsoever because these batteries won't do four kilometers there and back. You're never going to get that out of these battery packs. Plus the fact it was the only upgrade, so I didn't waste my money buying it. And I've seen reviews of it, and people have had issues. Some people have had issues with it, and it's certainly to me not worth the upgrade. So this still is a fantastic drone, even now, a year later. What this should do now is push is push manufacturers, and it's a bit annoying. So this is a bit that annoys me. So we've had the EX3 or the whatever you want to call that, because it's got different names. Jersey X11 is it, or is it a 12? I can't take up with the names. And also the Bug Sport W. All these are the same drone. They fly really nicely. That EX3 I tested flew superbly well, but they didn't put a camera on it. So if Hudson can do it, why can't they do it? One thing I'd like to do on this video is employ you not to buy any of that. Do not waste your money buying anything. If you want a camera drone, do not buy anything that's not got a gimbal on it. I'm, I'm telling you this, and I'm not just saying a gimbal, I'm saying a gimbal that can perform decent footage. Watch reviews, because the Heron and the, uh, the new one out now, I can't remember what it by Seafly, is it the Faith? It's got different names again got a 4k camera apparently it, it, they just don't perform well enough they're not other camera drone and this costs more than this i believe that this is still without a doubt one of the best buys about when i got this i had loads of problems with it i documented them problems on videos i contacted hudson and i know people are going to tell me they're having issues with contacting hudson just don't give up because they will replace it this got replaced they replaced the drone and I, mine had an issue with the camera. Forget all the other issues that it had that have now been sorted out with firmware. Because mine had the issue where it flashed colours so it just suddenly go all pink on the screen or all red on the screen. And that was an issue with the camera. They replaced that and it fixed that issue. It still had the flying tendency issues of it crabbing left. Now, I've watched videos of the Hubson Xeno Pro and it appears to crab left. This doesn't. So the firmware that's on this, I think it's, I can't remember what number it is, 12112 is it or something like that. This doesn't crab. This flies as good as it's going to do. It holds its place in the air. It doesn't drop on when it when it sets off, and it also doesn't drop altitude that much. They're going to drop a al bit of altitude these things because of the fact it's a cheaper drone. You're not you're getting what you pay for. You're not buying a Mavic 2 Pro, or Mavic 2 Zoom. You're not even buying a Pavit and Affi. But again, there's so much more money than this is. 
and now it's at a stage, this, this, um, this is obviously going, I'm not keeping this, I'm a little bit sad it's going actually, but at the end of the day, I don't think I'd fly it much anymore, so it needs to go to someone that's going to appreciate it, because it is great, that's it, I'll just tell you that, it's great, this is a great drone, you can't, I'm not saying, for one minute, it's better than other things on the market, what I'm saying is, for the price point, I don't think this is beatable now. Hopefully next year people are going to come to the party and start making drones that have a 3-axis gimbal. It's not just having a 3-axis gimbal you need to look for. You can put the 3-axis gimbal on anything you want. It needs to work. You can put a 3-axis gimbal on and with three brushless motors, but that doesn't mean it's going to work. It's going to be configured correctly. And the other important thing is, what is the camera... Forget about your lens, it's a camera sensor that's in there you'll want to look at. If the sensor's garbage, your 4K is never going to be 4K. So what I would advise anybody to do is watch reviews of these things. If you like the way it flies, absolutely fine, but make sure you're getting something that shows decent video. And the video on this is good. At the end of this video, I'm going to leave you some video footage recorded with this. And I think it's crisp and it's good. And for the money, like I keep saying, if you look at the price point, this is a price point video. I'm telling you this is because of the price point and because of the fact that it was a game changer. This changed the marketplace. What's annoying is that it didn't change it enough. Other manufacturers just sat on the backside and kept pumping out rubbish. The Bugs 4W, to me, has lost, they lost a lot of respect to me, did Bugs. I think they were decent drones. Don't get me wrong, they're not the best. They're still toy grade. The Bugs 3 is still toy grade and the 6 is still toy grade. They're all toy grade drones, these. But what they could have done was step, to, the, step the game up and put a gimbal on one. Do they have the ability to do that? I don't know. If they haven't, go get it off a manufacturer. Do I think Hubson created this? Probably not. I think the camera and sensor on this have probably nothing to do with Hubson. They've, import, they've bought it in from someone. And that's what they need to do. So, like I said, do not buy anything, any of these drones, no matter how good they are without watching the reviews. And I will tell you now, don't buy anything that's not got a stabilised 3-axis gimbal on it. If you can get a 2-axis gimbal, absolutely fine if it's got the 3rd axis that's electronic stabilised. Look at the power and app, it's fantastic. The Mavic Mini, the footage, that, that looks amazing. So, you can get away with two axes provided you stabilise the third axis. If you don't stabilise that third axis with electronic image stabilisation, you're going to have another issue. A lot of people say it needs to be 60 frames per second. It absolutely does not. Full cinematic footage is in 23.9. It needs to be 30, it can be 30 frames per second absolutely fine, provided the sensor's doing its job correctly and you've got a three axis gimbal. You should get great footage. So, I'm going to leave you with some video footage from this. And that's why I think this was the game changer and to me probably the best drone in the last 12 months price wise. It's not the best drone that's come out in the last 12 months but from the price point of view and what it did to the marketplace it's one of the best. So thanks ever so much for watching. All have a fantastic day.
Thanks for watching my channel, if you like the video please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell, there's plenty more good stuff coming up.